and blow Ruby! Yay! And we are back. So you got any idea what we're doing this time? I do. We have got a list of things to check as we are doing the search for the Goron's bracelet. That's what we were doing before, wasn't it? That's what we were doing before. We've been doing for quite a while, realistically. Um, it's the thing that's holding us back on Forest Temple and quite a few places. So I've got a short list of, here, list of places where I think it might be. I'm going to trade the bunny hood out for the skull mask. Because there is a place where we need to go with this. So why that mask in particular? Because uh, it's the particular mask that you need to solve the puzzle. <laughs> what an answer. Yeah, well, I don't know what else the answer is other than you need that mask. <laughs> what does it do? Uh, it makes the people react in a particular way. I'll show you when we get there. To begin with, we're going to see whether we got this great fairy. So I'm not sure if we did. We should be able to see from here. Okay, it's blown up, so we did. So that one's got. Yes, I'm pretty sure I'm not stupid enough to have got in there without Zelda's lullaby. Alright. So next we are heading back to the forest. And that is where we're going to check the skull mask. And we're also going to sell, uh, check for a guy who sells stuff. Didn't you just trade a skull mask? No, no we just collected the skull mask. Because we need it for this check that we're going to do. We got rid of the bunny hood. Alright, yep, yep, yep. And we'll just grab some monies because we're going to need it probably. Seventy should be enough, and if it's not, I'm going to be very annoyed. You know, again. He is hoping. Mm. <laughs> and now your favourite part. Wait a minute. Yes, let's run backwards. Yay! There's a check up here that I just saw that we haven't done. What? There is a bombable rock up here which has a a chest in it, and I would be really surprised that we didn't get this one already, but apparently we haven't. So let's check this one. It's amazing how those bombs do perfectly circular holes. Well, the hole's already there. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, that wasn't it. Who knows, maybe that five rupees will make all the difference when we go to buy from this guy back here. But for now, running backwards. Just for something different. Just for something different. Just for something different. There's going to be a lot of this in this uh, episode, I reckon, because we've got a few different places to check. Some of the ones that are just sort of scattered around the place. Damn it. That's going to slow us down. So, what happened there? Well, the button that you press to do the backwards walk, you also press the lock on. So I locked on rather than doing the backwards walk. Okay. It makes perfect sense, don't worry. Now I'm caught on something. Mm, there's a wall there. Yeah. Mm. The downside to running backwards, you can't see where the walls are. Well, you were actually jumping sideways. I was. Into what I thought was the open area, but was actually the wall. Hmm. We still got the bird. Gotta get the what? This is not. This, it didn't save. Hey? Huh? It didn't save. Uh, when, it, when it glitched out, it uh, didn't save. Uh, uh. So there's more to do than you actually thought? Uh, well, there's all the stuff that we did in the last episode hasn't been done. Uh, the, remember the trading sequence that we did? Yeah. Yeah, that's not been done now. 
Oh. I mean, we didn't get anything from that episode, so it actually doesn't matter too much. It's just a few other things now that are just not happening. So you experience a little bit of frustration there, are you? Just a little bit. Oh, good. I can tell that you're enjoying it. Yeah. Alright, that way, this way, that way. Privileges of watching. <laughs> Alright, so one of these guys apparently gives us something that's useful. Not him. <laughs> apparently this guy. No? Okay. There's meant to be one here somewhere. Well, let's check this out. Where are we? So what's that? Butterflies. Mm. They show us that there's a hole here. And then we put on... This guy. Eventually. What are they doing? They're crowding around me. Because you look like the sacred forest totem. <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, it's lucky blue's your favourite colour, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Lucky me. <laughs> Alright. That was a very quick reaction you had there, wasn't it? It shot at you, it went past, and then you ducked. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> I'm just... Two blue rupees. I was like, here's two great potential checks. And they're both blue rupees. This seed is so demoralizing. <laughs> but I, I don't think you understand. I just don't understand how you can r run faster backwards and forwards. Well, like this, you turn around and you run faster. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's just... Alright, our next check is Frogs in the Rain. So we're going to go play a song to some frogs, and they're going to be happy, and they're going to give us... Blue rupees! Better not. <laughs> they better not. Yeah. Oh yeah, what are you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> I, I'll throw, I was going to say I'll throw a bomb at them, but then the bombs immediately go out when they go in the water. So I can't do that. I could try and shoot them, but I'm pretty sure that you can't even shoot underwater. So I don't know. <laughs> I will just sit there he being not happy. He is hoping. And I've definitely got the song, don't I? <laughs> I'm... <laughs> yes, yes I do. I definitely have the you, song. You were a little worried. Though. I was... Look, you, you were... At this point, yes. Yes. There's a useless check up there for bombs. Alright, here we go. So we'll be back over here again when uh, we need something else. Now. That was it. Getting the buttons right the first time now. And that will give us... Blue Ruby! Yes, that's what we're after. And the silver scale does what? The silver scale lets us go underwater more. And we know that the Goron's bracelet, or at least one of its possible locations, was underwater. So we can now run and go get that. That's what we needed. So we've got a couple more checks to go to. 
Or they are they on the way? They're not on the way. Actually. Let me check my songs. Yeah, we can go this way. So we'll go down here, we'll check these couple of graveyard ones. Well the graveyard check and the well check. Which I reckon I might not have done. And then from there. Yes, that way. From there we will go back and get that from the lake. Did I have the lake well did I have the lake warp song as well? You're asking me. I am asking you. Uh, you might have seen it. Blue arrow. Uh, blue blue note. Yes, we got it. Alright. Oh, I feel good. Wait a minute. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> We're not making that mistake again. Uh. We've got a little bit of that trading sequence that we would have to do again. Fortunately, nothing too big, and I'll do it off camera. Because we don't want to see it twice, do we? Maybe you do. Well... I don't know, you're weird it's like not, that. If it's not on camera, what's the uh, thing to say that you actually did it? Well, I'll record it and put it up as an extra for anyone that really cares. <laughs> Which I'm going to assume is no one. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> That's been a good episode so far, this one. You're enjoying it? <laughs> now, I mean, I got the scale, so I'm happy with that. Well, it has its downsides. <laughs> Alrighty. So I think we've got more stuff to do in the well as well. Let that one go, are you? I'm just kind of surprised you're thinking. So, there should be an extra check up here that we can get now because we've got the fire, I believe. I believe that's what we were missing before. We came here before. We've come here before, but we weren't able to light these torches. And now, we've got the magic spell that lets us do it. No, we did that, didn't we, last time? No. We've done that magic spell before, but we didn't come here and do this. Ah, oh, okay. Because if we did, we would have Ruby. found... Uh, oh, hard thing. That's just as good. That's, no, that's, that's that, bad for you. That's just as good as a blue ruby, though. It's not really what you wanted. Oh, I'm happy with it now. It keeps me alive. You know, the whole that's thing... The, that's fine. It keeps your life from more disappointment. That's good. <laughs> What's the saying? Be careful what you wish for? Yep. <laughs> Alright, now. That's not what I wanted to do. That was stupid. I got 12 sticks. So that should be enough. Oh, wait, you. That should be enough to get me through some of the stuff in here. So what did you just blow up? A bomb. Of purpose of? I accidentally pressed the button. <laughs> Alright, now, before we continue, there are fire bats in here and I don't want to lose my shield again. So let's get the metal one on. And get this away for now as well because we don't want to accidentally Got to throw a bomb or oh, use our last bomb here yeah. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that we get two shots in but it didn't 
All right. So now, so those are the pretend wool you walk through. Yep, there's a whole bunch of those in here. Do you remember we were here before? Nah, nah. Wouldn't want you to pay attention or watch the videos or anything, would we? Sorry, what? Exactly. So this time, we've got Zelda's lullaby, so we can... Lower the water level here and get a few more checks. This should be enough to clear this area out. Is there a chest here or is it just the... Just the pot. Oh good, more bombs. That's helpful. <laughs> oh, that was helpful, was it? Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> oh no, those two hits took off an entire quarter of a heart. I'm so upset. <laughs> so now that that's down, we can come through here. And open this chest. Piece of heart, not bad. More time for more disappointment. Yay! <laughs> and then here we're going to want to use our spell again. Okay. <laughs> I'm caught in both the cutscene and its scream. Just everything's on fire. I didn't get a chance to be on fire. <laughs> the bats will light themselves on fire then come for you. That's the reason why I've got the, the other shield up. Yeah, but those things were burning. They're on fire. They're all cloth. They're all dry. Yeah. And they're perfectly They fine. just stand there. You hit them with a stick and they fall down. Yes. Because <laughs> I hit them with a stick. You hit them with a stick. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, sticks and stones will break my bones, eh? Exactly. Uh, but fire is not a problem. <laughs> oh, dramatic music change. Ow. Ow. Alright, so there we see the bats lighting themselves on fire. Where'd the last one go? There it is. So, what's in there? Well, that's what we're here to have a look for. We opened up all these coffins, because inside one of them is something useful. There's a big red thing in that one. Ah, uh, it's a heart. Nothing. Hey! So you got a heart, What's a, that's a holder, and the other one's actually a heart. Yeah, so that one was just a regular piece of heart. This one is actually more health, which is good. Which means the other one's worthless now, or what? Yep. Utterly worthless. Because it restores all my health. Alrighty. Look at all this progress. Setting things on fire, diving under water, it's great. <laughs> Alright. Now we've got one of the most... Um, Horrible bosses in the entire franchise. Oh, a bundle of arrows. Through here. What about the two jars at the top you just ran past? Ah, they're just jars. Nothing in them. It's the treasure chest that we care about. Now we're going to not get hit by that guy. Okay. Sure. He's got some reach, doesn't he? Yeah, well, he made a liar out of you, didn't he? Yeah, well... We're not going to get hit by that guy. Well, technically he didn't hit me, because I was nowhere near him. I just decided to fall over for some reason. Mommy, that's bad a bit me. Alright. This is one of the scary, well, most disturbing enemies in the game. It's a Trifford.
<laughs> it actually looks like a Monty Python character. It does, doesn't it? Come here, Jack. <laughs> it definitely does. <laughs> hits for my liking. I don't want to run out of sticks. Some of those things have got to bite for him to come up, do they? Yeah, that, that, that's his hands. Yeah. So it's I'm, holding I'm... me with its hand and it's going to bite me. But look at its jaw unhinging. <laughs> this is a kid's game. But kids like scary stuff. Oh, look at that. So what's that? In the head. That's his head. Oh, that's the magic. That's what I'm thinking. Too. Here we go. So this is normally Lens of Truth. And this time it is... The compass at the bottom of the well. So that tells us where all the other chests are. So there's all our other checks. So a couple of those are behind keys. A couple of them aren't. And... Where are we? It'd be nice if we had... Hmm? I said it'd be nice if we actually had the Lens of Truth because around here somewhere. We'll have to blow this up. we have to blow this up. There's a chest around here. No. Where is it? What, it's an invisible chest, is it? There is an invisible chest, yes. There it is. So you can open them, you just can't see them. Hey, it's the map. <laughs> so now we know that those four things there... So um, the one don't, flashing is where you are, is one it? One flashing is where I am, so they, they must contain other things. Now... So there's two little ones you haven't been in yet. Three you uh, haven't been in. Yeah, I reckon. There's actually a pretty good chance that those are all the keys. Because... I don't know if we've used any keys yet. Let's have a look. Oh, we just haven't done this one yet. <coughs> More heart. I'll take it. And then... How did I not get either of these ones on our first trip down here? So that's a key for the what? For the bottom of the well. Where we are. You only ever get keys for the dungeons that you're in in this version there's another more insane version of the randomizer that lets you uh, do it in any order you want uh, so I have the keys come out in any order you want mm -hmm. makes it a lot harder all right let's kill the bat first because the floor here is what's annoying especially without the lens of truth Ow. Ow. I'm not sure if we can just run around walls, but I think we might be able to. Or we definitely can. <laughs> That was a good discovery. Yeah, it was. Right, let's throw that there. At least there's a chest down here for us to get anyway. So it's a step in the right direction you're trying to say, eh? Not quite. <laughs> in fact, I think we probably needed to come down here. Because this has probably got the last chest, that we need, uh, the last key that we need. Hey, 
is this? Why me? What was I doing? He was going to try and fight me. That's what he was going to do. There we go. We definitely needed that. There we go. So what are those things? They are rupees and they unlock um, the door. So you need to get all of them in the room. one more up here and it will open the door for us see okay so you don't care what's in those things in in what things the, those Pots. jars no. yeah just bits and pieces what we need to do now is for me to try and remember what the actual floor looks like in here. <laughs> Was that a chest you've already gone past, though? No, it's in the um, in this other side room. Oh, and I've got one one thing here. That's great. That's going to make this room easier. Unless the bats haven't respawned, and that'd be great if they haven't. They have. Nope, okay, can't go along the wall. Didn't you work that out last time? I went along a different wall this time. So, your sentence exactly would have been, you can't go along that wall. Yeah, we can't go along either wall now. So I'm going to have to go through the middle and try and guess where the edges are. All for probably no reward whatsoever. So what are you trying to actually do? Get to the chest on the other side. Where am I? Where's my exit? There it is. The other thing with breaking the pots is I have to pick them up and throw them. Because I still don't have a sword. Which is fun. All right, this time. <laughs> I think it's more of what this time. Look, there's definitely more holes around the place. Yeah, but hang on. Are hey, you right? <laughs> what? There's definitely more holes. Oh, so yeah. Yeah. Does it feel good to be correct? Oh yeah. Be one of those few things you experience. I do experience being correct a lot, that is true. Right. Never been here before. Tell you what, just for you. Spend the time. We're gonna just break all of these and get nothing of use. Alright, the ultimate... No, oh, that is the, log the logic point door. When you go through this door... Yes. When you first enter, mm -hmm. have a look at the floor. Yeah. Do they have half bricks from the wall? Half bricks? Oh, you mean actually try and actually space right. it out? Count so, it see, out. see how you got that half brick type of image? Yeah. Alright, so don't go over. Yeah. So you see, I got the half brick, so. That was right in the center of it, wasn't it? That was. That was actually different. No, it's exactly the same. But is it a zigzag path? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, step on, step on only certain bricks. As with any good old temple type thing. Uh, so the way you're meant to do it is there's an item called the Lens of Truth. And actually, let's just see where the holes are. So you can just walk around it. It's actually quite embarrassing that I've fallen so many times now. So as you can see, yeah, I'm but that's something you're used to. Mm. Not falling. The embarrassment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anywhere where you are. Yeah, there you go. 
Okay, I've got to give you some of these leads every now and again just to make you happy. So what, you're going to put your glasses on this time, mate? I don't have it. You don't have it? No, normally you'd have it by now. But obviously I don't. Uh, we'll stop and look at the floor, see if there's anything. Right. We could go straight along here last time. Ah. Stop, you see, you yeah, see I underneath? Yeah, Yep. Oh, that's close. All right, now we gotta avoid this guy. Uh. That didn't work. He's gonna eat my shield. Would um, something better than a stick be better? <laughs> no, stick's the only thing I got. Ah. So something else would be better. Actually, no. The stick is the strongest weapon, uh, the strongest sword that you have as a kid. Oh, good. It's done the glitch, though. Fortunately, when you kill it, it gives you your shield back. <laughs> so that's good. That's not what I want to do, though. What I wanted to do was press start and get out my boomerang. No. Okay, and equip that. All right, so there is also another version where we can make the skull tokens actually like mixed in items as well, but we're not playing that. A blue ruby! Yay! <laughs> Ooh, All of that I'm effort. So happy. All of that effort. Okay. Blue is such a happy color. Let's go get the Goron so bracelet. You've been through everything there. That's it. That's everything here now. A down. That way, that way. Actually, let me just quickly check. I think we've got all of the sculptures here. We don't. Okay. No, there's one left. Oh, yeah, because it'll be in that key room there. We won't need it. How do you know? Because we don't need to get all of them for the, this, no matter what. But you haven't actually got what you wanted yet. It might be in that box. No, it's not a box, it's a sculpture. Hey? It's one of the skull spiders. So oh, it'll be okay. one of those tokens. Yep. And you only need to get to 50 um, for this. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to go get the Goron's bracelet. Given that ever since we found the silver scale, we've known where it was, and we can go get it. And that, there it is. The thing that we've been looking for and knowing where it is the whole time. The Goron's bracelet. And that is a success. So, um, now what? Oh, well, now we'll be able to go through the first level as an adult next time. So See you then. We actually get to proceed. We go, go forward. We don't have to do this level again. What do you mean this level? Well, the running around. The running around that we just did. Do we have to do all that again? No. That's a plus. We'll see you next time.